Welcome back to Judo Breakdown Zero, source for Judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam. Oh, oh. where's this from? Oh, that's one all the way there. Uh, from Baku 2022. And uh, yeah, I don't know why the video started all the way over there, but let's get it started. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I got it a little distracted. In white, we have Christian Perlati from Italy. And in blue, we have Peter Zilka from uh, Slovakia. I believe so white is Christian and blue is Peter and they just got going what was that Christian dropped to his knees but maybe a little bit of leniency there that's dangerous to be honest <clears throat> from getting thrown perspective you're on your knees. You you have very little defense against someone. You can still get thrown on your knees. Limited ability to defend yourself. So I don't like that just in general. Okay. Searching a little bit with that Uchimata by Peter. Okay, and I don't think that's, I mean, is it Uchigiri by Christian? Possibly, but it's going the other direction, so it's not really going to win. Anyways, same side by Christian. Not really doing anything with that as yet. I do not like this. For the record, I do not like the way that Christian is using his Uchi attack. <clears throat> Peter's going to get a penalty for not attacking. I mean, granted, he hasn't actually attacked at all. So as much as I might grape with Christian's attack, he has attacked. So undisputably. Peter, he's put a leg in there somewhere, but not really trying to real throw. Will he change it up? I don't know. Let's see. Really loading up on one side? No? Okay. All right, so Christian has been going over the back. And is that a new Shimada attempt? I don't know if I'd call it that, but okay. All right, so the question is, what is Christian going to do or Peter going to do? Peter's already down a Shido, so he has to... Okay. Uh... Yeah, the drop there. That wasn't going to throw anybody. I mean, he's dropping on one side of the body, but the leg is going across and way too far away. It's really not going to do anything. Right, so. But he probably bought himself a little bit of time there in terms of uh, the not throwing. Okay. All right, so they're both getting Cheetos now for not getting grips. I don't know if that's really what I'm seeing here. I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. Although, there's a lot of sort of not throwing. So, I'd probably penalize for that. And now, see, what's funnier is actually this seems more egregious uh, not throw, not getting your grip than before. Right? So, the question is now, who's going to do something about it? Right? You would think Peter has the more incentive because he's down two Shidos, right? So, and so I'd like to see him throw something. Oh, oh, Wazari is called. Okay, caught him with the uh, Uchigiri. But, you know, big difference is that he didn't catch. Oh, is he getting the hold down? He is, okay. And Peter trying to get that leg to hook. This might be the end of it. Yeah, it is. Okay, congratulations to Christian for the um, Yvonne victory uh, via uh, hold down. I mean, he could probably have got the Yvonne just off the hold down, but uh, we already had the Wazari on the board, so uh, good on him. 
let's have a look at that last sequence there. Okay, so he gets the uh, Uchi, and big difference between my criticism before and the critic and the way that he did it now. He didn't do it from his uh, knee on the ground, right? And this is a lot more classic looking in terms of the uh, Uchigiri. So, although he does kind of go across the body. Um, and now let's take a look. So he gets the, the rollover. You don't need a full rollover, right? And uh, does Peter do the right thing here? Um, it's not bad. Okay, I'm not going to be too harsh. It's not bad. What I'll say is that if you're going to attack the leg to try to like break the hole down, this leg really needs to be almost kicking in a way. Like, not actually kicking because how can you really kick from here? But like the force, the explosive power, <clears throat> this leg has to get past this, this blocking leg, this left leg here. Right, and you can't do that if you're just sort of down. Now, it's not as if Christian is a is not is going to just allow that, but you know, I like that's something that I think you have to keep in mind is that that leg has to thread through, it has to kind of blast its way through, right? Alternatively speaking, if you find yourself in this hold on, let's just say okay. You're not done with Zara and, you know, whatever. But you're just asking, okay, so what else can you do here? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Um, what I'd say is... The big weakness of the position that Christian has, if we just back it up, is across the uh, his right shoulder this way. Right? And... Uh, you know, Peter has the right idea, but I think he's grabbing the wrong thing. You grab the mid, and this is just, okay, you know, you can practice this at home. You know, maybe Peter says, okay, this is unrealistic for this match, fine. But just generally speaking, like, what would you do, right? Okay. Grab the middle of this belt. Really kill all the slack. Like, th this belt needs to move into the ribcage. This hand has to go onto the pant, right on the hip bone. And ideally this arm would be around the head, but whatever, like you don't have much like time to mess around. So if it's there, it's there. Just, but grabbing the belt instead in the middle, really pulling it up, hand here, feet set, really big re reap. And you're gonna try to take Peter uh, Christian this direction with a huge, I mean, massive, massive bridge. I mean, massive amounts of power. And it may not work. And that's possible. But what my plan B to that is, plan A, try to get the bridge over. Plan B, you've lifted it enough that this leg is either off the ground or nowhere near as blocking. And as they let's say it fails it comes down this leg scoots in and you can wrap right so there's two sort of two parts to it one is the direct threat and then the second is in the reset you can kind of uh entangle the legs and then break the hole down that way right but obviously i prefer the bridge to work because then that puts me on top then i can get the hole down you know and uh, win that way but it's a it's it's a lot it takes a lot right and, uh, you know, obviously Christian's not going to allow that. But the problem is, for Christian, is this left, leg, left, left hand is floating, which is good. And it can block some. But this right hand is actually over the shoulder grabbing the belt, the back belt here. Now, why is that a problem? As you bridge this direction, it locks this right arm under you. Uh, like, Christian's right arm under Peter. So he can't pull it out in time to do any sort of meaningful block. The most meaningful block is really going to be the forehead here and maybe some hand. So I kind of tend to think like 
you know, you shoot for a bridge at 11 o'clock, an extremely shallow <clears throat> thing, not a 45 degree angle, you know, but like a, uh, what do you call it? 60 degree angle, I guess would be the natural thing. Uh, anyways, something like that, like 11 o'clock, like something pretty shallow and big drives, like really, really big drive. But uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, if you enjoy this video, consider hitting like, subscribe. Uh, if you want to add your own comments, please do. I always appreciate that. Until next match, have a great night.